Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the trilogy. We made it through the first day of Edgeworth's trial. It was not easy at all, especially when the prosecution is that Von Karma, whatever his name is. He's horrible. And to top it all off, May have got herself arrested for being in contempt of court. So that's who we're going to visit now. We got out of the trial and I need to visit our friends in the detention center. Mayor. Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day. Okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that, anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. You're not really a lawyer at all. I want to get technical. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. So, can you get out of here or not? Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, seeing as this is your first offence, why don't you go off the question? Phew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Oh. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Okay, well that's a bit of a sad night to leave this on, but where should we go? We've got nothing to present to you, really. Two sounds just like gunshots, that's fine. We'll move somewhere. Maybe back to our offices? I hope she gets out of uh, prison soon, or jail. Sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of that detention cell soon. Oh, we should probably go to Gumshoe then, right? That makes the most sense. It's Boxing Day now, but it still seems to be some workers around. Detective Gumtree's not here. Gumtree's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? Here's a live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Nice, okay, thank you for the tip. Let's go find old gummy shoe. There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Yeah, he might be down by uh, the boathouse today. He could be at the public beach. It's been very quiet so far here on this second day. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Kiantz. Was it Kiantz? I never quite know. A boat rental shop, I reckon he's there. Or at least a new character will be. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too. Oh, okay. Well, the only place we've got left to go is where a lot of heart was hanging out. In the woods. He's got to be here, right? There he is, big gumshoe. Hey, Detective Gumshoe! Hey, pal. The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was going to say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Oh, you did save Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. I mean, we got a way to thank us. Let Maya out. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. Yeah, the other one was probably to do with the boat rental shop. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? S sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not limited to divulge information. Right. 
Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, you see. But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. And him becoming a prosecutor. And him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The, uh, the DL6 incident. Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Oh, it's pretty sad. So it wouldn't make sense for him to ever shoot someone else, would it, really? Because of, he must hate guns. I wanted to talk to you about Mayor Fay. Huh? She's not out of bell yet? That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man. I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her get dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I got to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um... I was wondering, how much is Belle going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Did I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to pick her up, okay? Huh. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. I mean... I guess we head straight back to the station, but where's Lotta Heart? Has she just packed up and gone? Well, she hasn't packed up at all, I guess. But we'll go back to Maya. Nothing else to do here. That I know of, at least. And we'll go to the entrance. And then back to the detention centre, I guess. Hey, Nick! You finally came! They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go! Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like, I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Oh. Uh... Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Yeah, I totally agree. So what do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. I, I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park is good a bit the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say? Should we head down there? Sure. Okay, so we'll go back to the park. Ooh. Have you noticed anything lately? Hmm. You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm. They keep it very clean. I mean, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, though. No. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Okay, off we go. Back to the park, and who shall we meet, or who should, what shall we find? There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precincts, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lotta! Y'all really did it today! Well, what did we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realised that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. Lotta. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? Oh, you're gonna show us the second photo, please. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything. Oh, you're pretty disgraceful, really. Not a lot of heart at all. I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry. I know I can't see a lot of trouble. Well, Memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. 
Right. You mean the first time you witnessed a murder? What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to stardom. Alright, Lotta, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer too. But it's your spirit medium training first. Lotta, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, actually, I've got a bit of information for you. What? That from Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. W what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Uh, exchange? Um, uh, I thought this was to, to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Oh. Hey. I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Well, what'll it be? We gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? We I mean, would we'll have to deal. It depends what she wants. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Whoa, 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 whoa! G Gordy! But, but Gordy doesn't... I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Oh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? Do you see something? You'll come see me first, got it? Oh, okay. Right, see y'all later. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, uh, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Crap. <laughs> how are we going to do this? I don't think Gordy exists at all. Maybe Larry Butts knows a little bit about it? Whoa, where did you come from? That looks like, um, is that of the, uh, the Samurai show? What's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick? Yeah, I thought I recognised it. Yo, Mayor! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, where's my girl Kansas idea? She was all, if you like, put this here, it would be like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me, along with the banner. Wow! That's really impressive, she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got for free. Right. Okay, whoa, what are you doing with your hand there? Do you have a hand? Yo, Nick! What happened with Veggie? Well, we made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. Huh? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred to schools pretty quickly. Transfer? Right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month. Yeah. He's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? 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 Oh, right. The, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put the air in the Steel Samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflate it by yourself. 
Okay, not a lot to go on there, really. Can we examine this? Doesn't that still samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Huh. Oh, you did a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Right, so what you're saying, it's fake? What's this machine? That? That's a compressor. I used it to fill up the balloon over there. Huh, neat. Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Okay, what about these flags? Those flags are sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know. I think it gives the place a kind of a festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? You don't know the war of the eyeglasses? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? Okay, I don't really see anything new. But it is obstructing the view of the lake. Do we look at the lake? Wow, God Lake is really big. So Nick, why is it? Oh wait, we've done this before, before, haven't we? And it's shaped like a gourd as well. Yeah. Okay, fine. So, we move again. Go to the boathouse. Has to be, right? Here we go. Something a bit different. A new character, maybe? It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all. They're probably just taking a vacation so it blows over. I get it. But is there something we can see? It's all boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's around. Yeah, okay. Okay, indeed. There are some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Okay. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed. There's space for one more boat at the dock. Okay, but nothing helpful there, really. We've got the woods. No, no clues in there. Once again, we're a little bit stuck. So what could we do? We could go back to, we could go to a lot of heart. I don't think that would help us though. Do it anyway, just to tick it off. Hey y'all. Well, you'll find anything out about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I, I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, no you don't, no sneezing. Watch it! Wow, look how many photos it took, just from one sneeze. Wow, okay, so maybe it should have took a lot more photos then. I told y'all, no sneezing. See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. Oh, okay, she's messed with the sentence. You have to trigger on one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, hey the lady. Oh. Ah, so we can speak more again. I learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Oh, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said. I'll trade it for the dirt and Gordy. Oh no. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo to my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. <laughs> oh, a UFO. Uh, a, a, a UFO. Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. Huh? So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Confuse it, well, there's more gaudy stuff. Why is that not ticked? 
Okay, sorry to go through the same text all over again. Come on, come on. Yeah, that doesn't tick, so we must have stuff about Gordy, maybe? <laughs> Was that that? Uh, what's the worst that could happen? How do I present it? Um, okay. Present, sorry. I don't know why my mind went so blank. Um, uh, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? What if you get a picture of Gordy? And it turns out like this enlargement did. Yo, crazy? <laughs> a blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story. I need a picture that screams, I am Gordy. Hear me roar. I can't turn something like this into the paper. What kind of a fool do you think I am? The kind of fool that would turn a blurry picture and his evidence in a murder trial? Not to mention claiming she saw something she didn't see. Right, so that's no good. Many Gordy dirt. But what the hell do I do? The camera is staring at the lake as usual. Okay. What about the lake itself? We can't do nothing. So I must have to move somewhere again. Run out of places to go, pressing all the wrong buttons. Can I present this to you? Do you know anything, Larry? That's the guy that's selling my dogs faster than I can cook them. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling some of my dogs until the truth's out. Crap, we don't really have a lot here at all. We could go back to the boathouse again. I really don't wanna. Okay, maybe the entrance, maybe we can speak to Gumshoe? It's worth a try. Maybe we can speak to Edgeworth? Okay, something at the police station. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides, money, that is. How has the investigation proceeded? It's not, really. We have another meeting come up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in his case. Robert Hammond. The same, that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag it out and hit him with it in court tomorrow too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I've got to admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? A monster down in the Gordon Lake? Not personally, no. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search recording. Uh, huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Okay, what's this secret weapon? Now we're talking. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one. Missile. But, Missile! He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! No way, we've got a dog! Here he is! Hey, he's cute! Look, Nick, cute dog! A cute dog. And this will help us how? <laughs> Thank god I don't have to do the woof myself. Next, secret weapon number two fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. 
Okay, next next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three. A metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been eating soda cans. Well, which would it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. For a totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Right, okay, now the obvious choice, I suppose, or the most likely choice to find evidence for something that lives in the lake would be the fishing pole. But how can we not take the dog? Missile. That's a brilliant name for the dog. We have to take the dog just so we can hear some more woofs. Can we borrow a missile? Do you think, pal? Be good to him. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh boy. Yes, there we go. A canine unit in training. Very cute with shiny eyes. Okay, so can we present the dog? We can. <laughs> and do we get more secret weapons? Oh, okay, so he takes back the dog. No, no, no. We want to keep the dog for now. Okay, so where can I use the dog? I've got no idea. I guess we'll move. And we can't use the dog here, so then we'll move to the public beach. Hey, Nick! Huh? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Oh, oh, right. That little creature of the detectives. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. <laughs> Face, oh my god. Went from dog to demon in a second. What's wrong, Missile? Yips! Oh my god, it didn't attack Maya, did it? Missile! Missile! It's gotta be eating the dogs. Whoa, whoa, stop that thing! Cannibal! It's eating my samurai dogs! Oops. Uh oh. My samurai dogs! Oh! Wow! He ate every single one! I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry! Sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. Ah, uh, this guns after this time. Crap. Okay. Can we present the dog to you? <laughs> hey, Larry, look, it's missile. Isn't he cute? D keep that one away from me. What am I going to tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick! Maybe the stand is a front for a mafia money laundering scheme. Maya, I think you should probably try to look at a little sorry about what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> My poor dogs. Okay, so that wasn't too good. Let's move to the boat rental shop, see if the dog can sniff anything. Nope. Can't present here, can I? Because there's no one to talk to. Okay. Well, we're taking to a lot of heart, <laughs> maybe? Maybe we've done this in the wrong order. Come on, do your thing, Missile. Hey, Lotta! Oh, cute. He yours? He's a canine police dog. His name's Missile. Huh. Canines are the one they use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, but nothing else to do with the dog. Oh, damn it. What do I do with you, Missile? You're kind of useless right now. In that case, we'll go back to the police station. I can only imagine that we have to use something else first. And then the dog will be put to good use. And then the metal detector. Or in a different order, we don't know. Okay, so... I'm going to take the fishing rod. Yeah, take Missile back. He's been fed, don't worry. Can we borrow that flimsy looking fishing pole? Sure thing, pal. Oh, if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Uh, right. Fishing pole, there we go. So surely we can take that out on the key. 
at the uh, lake entrance by the boat rental shop. Okay, back here. Can we talk to him about? No, we can't. Go to the boat rental shop. I want to use my rod somewhere. Fuck. What the hell do I do with this poxy rod? Um, okay. Maybe the metal detector? <laughs> I'm getting a little bit stuck. We'll present it to Larry, I guess. Take that. You know, you can't catch many fish in this lake. I'm not after small fry. I'm after the biggest fry of them all. Gordy. Are you really going to try to fish out a monster? To say Edgeworth, yes. It brings a tear to my eye. In more ways than one. So well, maybe if we examine. Hmm, even examining won't help here. Nick benches. No, she wants a dog. Okay. Right, in that case, we'll move to a lot of heart. Maybe we can fish there. And then it'll have to be the, uh, the fishing rod, um, the metal detector. Although it looks like we triggered something, though. Hmm. Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. A good spot. For what? For fishing, you big dope. Time to do some fishing. She's serious. Uh, what are you going to use for bait? Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, I think that something like this would happen. We should have brought missile along with us too. At least then we'd have a bait. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Nick, how could you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. Some jokes are better left untold. Oof. She hit me. Okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Uh, my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of photos. Hey, what What are you doing? Sorry, Lotta. We're wasting more of her film. Don't tell me you're on some film company's payroll. Hiya. My poor, poor wallet. Wait, no, I want to go back to fish. Why can't I fish again? Please, let a young man fish. Oh, crap. Okay, well, that sucks. I present my rod. Thank you, she didn't get anything. Look, wait, for catching Gordy. A fishing pole? Are you out of your doggone mind? Yes, I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Huh. I never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. Okay, so how can I use it? There's no way. No way. We can present this again, but it just be speaking to her. So we must have to use the metal detector for something. Surely, surely, surely. It's our last hope. Last chance saloon. Um, go back to the entrance, please. And then go back to here. Right, sorry, uh, Gumshoe, honey. The, the detector now, please. The detector from the detective. That was really hard to say. Right, we'll take this. I'm not sure what we're going to farm with this. Remember, you hunt it for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. Right, metal detector. Makes a noise when metallic objects are near. Let's go. Back to the lake for like the millionth time. We'll move into the public beach. And I'm hoping the detector will just work its magic. Here we go. I knew it. Well, that's a horrible sound. Sounds like my smoke alarm. Nick! It's beeping. The metal detector's found something. I bet it's the key to get to the rental shop. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, man. Why do I have to check it out? Oh, I what she found. Nick! Look! Oh! Okay. So is that the air tank that filled up the steel samurai and it's got the flags around it? Huh. An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. May it, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? 
Oh! Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. We got the air tank. We're gonna present this to, um, what's his face? Larry. Mr. Butts. What are we doing with this, dude? Why, why was this in the bushes? What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Have you seen this before? Huh? Me? N no, never. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of the winter? There's something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. Okay. Is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Oh, it's like a scuba diving air tank. Oh, totally missed the mark. Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Uh, uh, must, be, must be a coincidence. There's a string of flags everywhere these days. Look, like elementary schools. And used car dealerships. Look, look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something or to go diving? Hmm. Well, I'd say to inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Now, why would you go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Of course, we didn't use it to go diving. Thank God, I thought I was completely off the mark there, but it seems we still understand this game a little bit. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always use is on the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected, ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then, I knew that was going to happen. So that's the third bang. They thought there was three gunshots, but there's only two, and the third was that. But well, its head blow off? The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. Oh, was that the tank there? And it blew out of his hands and it landed away by the boat rental shop. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? It sure scared me up out of my gourd, that's for sure. Wow, okay. But what else? <laughs> that's it then. Let me make sure that isn't the air tank compressor. Oh, I guess it isn't. Okay, but now what? Okay. So we're just getting the same thing again. Well, we got some info. Hmm. So we're showing this metal detector? I don't think that will help though. Sorry, Nick. I don't know much about that. I'm a mere seller of hot dogs. Fine. Do you have any more? Okay, here we go. Um, so the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th? A week ago. Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying out to the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, he had to give me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. The night of the murder. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Okay, so the bang didn't happen when the gunshots were fired. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But, you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. 
Wait, so we say that that thing was Gordy? Okay, so let's move over to um, here and tell Lot of Heart about it. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info you all need. You've got the scoop and Gordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist, or we found him? Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. It, it, yo, for real? Gordy really exists? Wait, I need proof. Y'all get a photo? Of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? That's when you made contact with Gordy. Enough jabbering already. Let's see your proof. It's, uh, it's this. <laughs> I think this is Gordy. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What, what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand in here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who happens to be a friend of mine, tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the air. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang! The tank, along with the steel deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time, a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is really the still samurai? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lotta. Okay. <laughs> Poor Lotta indeed. Now, do we see the case information or do we save it for next time? I mean, I might let Lotta stand there and look sad for a bit longer because I don't particularly like her as a character. She's selfish and narcissistic and all, all the rest of it. So we'll let her feel really deflated there, as much as the Steel Samurai was. So if you enjoyed this episode of the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, please go ahead and leave the video a like. I know I ask it all the time, but it does help me, so thank you. If you want to see more, we'll get the case information and probably make some good ground going into the next trial. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe, I can bring it all to you. If you got any questions you want to raise, what do you think about that whole Gordy thing? Are we right in our assumption? I guess so, it's how we're progressing. But let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Alright? See you!